Hello and welcome to another Captivate and Educational episode of Garage Idiots. On this episode, we are going to test this Rust-Oleum peel coat, which is like Rust-Oleum's plastic. So, I have the perfect turd bucket to test this on. Fair warning, if you do do this, I would recommend taping stuff off. I'm not going to, because I don't care. So this is my 2006 Honda turd bucket. Yes, I. So, it has been previously plastic up, so I don't care about getting overspray on any of this. The headlights are shot, so this is a good test dummy. So I'm gonna spray that on here and see how it does and see how it peels later, see how it lays, all that jazz, let you guys know if it's worth buying or not. Okay, so uh, it laid pretty well. Over here, There's they got plastic up on the headlight. So yeah, ignore that. But uh, so I'm gonna see how it peels. It, it laid pretty well. It's a kind of a matte finish, but I mean, from afar, it, it actually looks pretty nice. I like it a lot. I'm not sure uh, longevity of it, but if it peels off easy enough, you just respray it and call it a day. So I'm gonna peel it, see how it does, and we'll go from there. Uh, to do no more than four coats so that was part of the reason why it didn't peel off quite as well as plastic it normally does because it was thinner I think that was probably just to allow X amount of light to still travel through it but uh, the push method actually did really well and it kind of just rolled right off so um, the only thing I don't know is longevity but like I said I mean that was easy enough to I don't know if I could get it off on there yeah I mean it yeah easy enough to peel off I mean if it if it lasts a month and then it starts to do something funky you know you take 10 minutes and do it again the overall finish was pretty good but yeah so I would I mean I'd say it's worth the money that can was 10 bucks I think tint shops normally charge like 50 bucks a headlight to either tint or uh well yeah the black tint or yellow tint your headlights and such so money well spent it worked as advertised and yeah okay guys that's it for that video um that was short enough uh if you guys have any other products you'd like me to test i have the little turd bucket i'd be happy to do some more things to it um if you guys are not normally on the channel uh like and subscribe we've got a lot of weird stuff going on here um if you are on the channel normally you haven't really seen our miata cart uh street car takeover is in 10 days so we're gonna Basically, we're just bringing that up there for show, but we're gonna lift it and put some big old tires on it. It's gonna be weird. We're gonna try and make some more power on the J-Swap Civic. I'm shopping for heads and a diff for the C5 Corvette Jeep, and the bug is about ready to go on the MR2 chassis. So, um, should be an exciting next month or so. There's gonna We're gonna be bouncing all over the place. So, uh, stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you for watching.
sure to check out the next video where I teach you how to pole dance.